guys, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today, we're going to react to Season 14, Episode 12 of Supernatural, entitled Profit and Loss. Not like your normal PNL sheet, like the Prophet, the Prophet of the Lord. See what they did? If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. Links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the stream, and everything in between. And Jerry, back from vacation, will do his best work behind the scenes. Dean wants to be put inside of a box and drown in the, in the river forever. Uh, Abraxas was Abraxas. Came and went. Nick is in custody from Donna somewhere and somewhere. Up, up, up there in old Minnesota. And uh, that's where they're at. That's all that's going on. Last episode was in enjoyable, but it's not going to wind up on any list for me. I, I liked it, but it just, it was what it was. So I'm not going to waste any time. We're just going to hop right into it. I'm going to put Jerry behind the scenes. Uh, and I think our big looming thing that's still hovering over our heads is the fact that Nick had that vision of Lucifer when he said that, like, you complete me. And they had the Terminator robot with the red eyeballs in the emptiness wherever Cass woke up, wherever they're trying to send him back to. That That's still a thing. Well, there it is. There's his coffin. That's awful. No, no. All of that is awful. He's got his phone in there. Dad. Tim. Oh, there goes his battery. Tim. Supernatural. At the end of the day, it was your dumbass deal if you actually did go down there. That's on you. That little drip coming in, how long do you think it'd take him to drown to fill up? All right, a little while, right? What the fuck is this? The salt? Making some salt water? Salt water taffy? Are you going to turn her into salt water taffy? Making some rabbit stew? Changed me. Made you into a monster. Listen, you piece of crap. You want to say the devil made you do it? Well, you stick with that. Because either way, you're going to be locked up for the rest of your life. You're done. You're buried. Man, you think you would think he done killed his whole family. Shit, my brother got some, some anger. I want to see what food they brought him, though. It was eggs and bacon. Just a big old plate of fucking slap. Maybe this guy's doing some light stalking on behalf of a. That that Lucifer style entity we saw. He's definitely answering to like a higher thing here. Dragon, that's some bug. Oh, this brother right here is sick and twisted. Oh, they gonna carve into him. Here he goes. He's making shapes and symbols and shit. He would send me away when I really pissed him off. I think you knew that. Man, I left that behind a long time ago. I had to. And if we're gonna get through this, I, I have to do like you said trying to keep my mind off where we're going so if we could not have conversations that sound like deathbed apologies i would really appreciate it right yeah but at the same time like i know i know you're saying that but maybe that's things he has to say regardless of what the end game here is or not but this guy just looking through the people it's creepy as shit uh Hold on. I don't like you staring at me like that, buddy. Oh. All right, there we go. Uh, yeah, I just... We've had numerous conversations about John Wim Worcestershire sauce. Uh, 
I like that line of dialogue saying, I know it looked like I took his side a bunch, but it was to keep the peace. Because in that first season, I mean, it really felt like Dean was just 100% Team John. But him saying that does make a lot of sense. And I do like that Sam was the one that, that kind of stood up a lot of times, regardless of the outcome it had between him and John, him and their father. Oh, it was good stuff there. That's who they need to have it out with, to have a conversation with is John and make amends for all that shit because that's still just so lackluster. You're back. I wouldn't trust this shit for nothing, son. Bam! Stone Cold Steve Austin. Walloping Vince with that damn big pan. Not that curb stop. But see, also something like this too. There would have to be more security around, right? There just have to be. They're not gonna put one bum ass cop. Working in case. That's so good to hear. So I assume that means you're not going through with it. Because I have to say, Dean, this plan of yours, it was born of, of desperation, not reason. <laughs> Look at the way he's I, I Look at the way he's looking at Sam. <laughs> Uh, Look, I'm fine with my plan, okay? Uh, we'll talk shit. about my plan later. Dean. You are making a terrible mistake. Does the name Tony Alvarez mean anything to you? Yes. Say more. Antonio Alvarez is okay. next in line to be prophet when Donatello dies. Ooh. Prophet okay. and loss. Wait, Dean, Dean. We need to have a conversation. Look, I really gotta handle this right now, okay? So, thank you, and uh, it's good to hear your voice. I kind of like the concept yeah, of a killer prophet. Itself, the previous one has to die. Right. So does that mean Donatello's dead? Oh, shit, look at Donnie over here on life support. Tony Alvarez just seems like the most common Tony name Alvarez? on this earth. Hey, look at the old ass room, the old ass TV. Fat back, boy. I bought that motherfucker for $800. You get this shit right now to yard sale for seven to seven bucks. Go up. Fire. Oh, Sam and Dean gotta stop at last second. Tackle. That nah, blanket. Blanket tarp. Sleeper hole. Knife. Get out of here. Go. Now. Sam. Okay, she choked him out. Tony All the way. Alvarez, right? Who are you? I come. You can't. You can't do this. I'm doing God's work. I'm carrying out his orders. You think God spoke to you? I, I've been chosen. I hear his voice in my head. Yeah, what's he saying now? Right. You banana nut muffin. Nothing. Yeah. Because whatever you heard. And boom goes the dynamite. That's one problem solved. So who's still selecting profits to show up? Is they all been like predetermined from the beginning of time, right? Because like there's nothing to protect them. Cause it used to be if you if you tried to harm a prophet, an archangel would show up. But I don't think that's the, that's not been the case for a, a hot minute. Perhaps Donatello's state has created a prophet who's. Is not only premature, but malformed. Maybe that cross up with that 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 mix up of the two prophets. Maybe, maybe this weird thing from the other side, from that darkness, the empty, whatever it is. Maybe that's what's coming through to these prophets. I don't think it's a stretch. I think it's a possibility. And hey boy, your shit haunted. He didn't even give a shit that it was his girl. He said, Lucy, is that you? 
Are you back to give me my power? To give me my fix? Oh, no. Sarah. Is that a ghost of Sarah? You chose Lucifer. Oh, he chose. He 100% chose. You wanted him. You... You still do. He chose me. Okay. You didn't come here to find peace. You came here to find him in the place where you became one with him. Oh. Then show me I'm wrong. That's Reject exactly what happened. Lucifer, you can't right say now. nothing else. If you do, I can leave. Yeah. You can, I can find peace. You can give her peace. All you gotta do is just say, nah, nah. Oof. And he admits it. I mean, I respect self-awareness. Sorry. He's got the self-awareness of it. Oh. Where are you going? Wherever it's darkest, wherever he is. It's probably Nick! twisted side of wherever it's darkest. And you're just gonna leave her to be trapped in this house forever? You're making the right choice. Your uncle's in a persistent vegetative state. Yeah, sure, fuck it. Go ahead and unplug it. What's the worst that can happen? Death. Maybe I. There's the proverbial switch of life right there. Boop. Should probably take a goddamn tube out of him. R8 was 69. There you go. Now he's complete. His first words back were Dean. Oh, look at that. It's a miracle. No rest for the self-destructive. Well, I will call this a win. It hit me a little night. late. I'm going out on a high. Going yeah. out. Be the operative phrase. Mm -hmm. Try and use that verbiage again. I'm sorry. <laughs> keep doing it. Keep I'm leaning sorry, on. Are you sorry that you? Fight to keep Donatello alive. But not yourself. When it comes to you, you're just throwing the towel? Fuck your shit, Sam. Or are you sorry that after all these years, our entire lives, we're the guys who saved the world. Uh, you just check out of it. Us. You have every right to be mad Sam, at me. I have tried everything. Oh, you have it. Everything. I got one card left to play, and I have to play. You have one card today. But we'll find another tomorrow. But if you quit on us today, there will be no tomorrow. Talk to you him. You tell me uh, you don't know what else to do. I don't either, Dean. Not yet. But what you're doing now, it, it, it's raw. He ain't saying nothing out of pocket. Fuck that beer. I believe in us, Dean. <laughs> there you go. Bop him. Yeah, right hand. I believe in us. Hey, hey, hey. Why don't you believe in us, too? Why don't you? Huh? Why don't you? I believe in all of us. I just realized this location is called Happy Days, D-A-Z-E. And I'll keep believing until I can. Until there's absolutely no other way. But when that day comes, if... That day comes. Sam, you have to take it for what it is. The end. And you have to promise me that you'll do then what you can't do now. And that's let me go. If you and put me, me in that box. Fuck that box. You too. You know that bullshit. I don't need to be flash banged at the end of the episode. Good heavens. It's it's just not going away. All right. Uh, to avoid the pain of Dean's dire plan, the Winchesters take a case involving dead bodies with mysterious symbols carved into their chest for profit and loss. A new profit kind of sort of being activated since Donatello's between life and death. 
just murmuring out the stuff that prophets do, sending him on like a murdering spree. But I mean, the whole episode's kind of moot. Until you get to those last three or four minutes right there, the BM moment, the, that, that brotherly bond for them to, Sam to tell him like it is. Why? You didn't give up. You didn't give up on Donnie just now. Why are you giving up on yourself? Why don't you believe in us? Why don't you believe in me? For what reason? And I'm really glad that it was Cass that got the point through. I'm sorry, I'm really glad that it was Sam that got the point through and not Cass. Because I get it, Cass is his best friend and you know everything else the internet says that he is and I joke that he is and this, that, and the other, but Sam's his brother and if anybody was going to get him through that, it should have been, it should have been Sam. Uh, it seems quick seems quick because he just started building the thing i think that would have been nice to sit and linger for a little bit but i'm glad that sam was able to uh to get him at least for now to say let's go home we don't know how the season's gonna play out we got episodes left but still it's good stuff um i like this episode i like it a lot i think it's really good that's good stuff yeah yeah regardless uh, I think that'll lead us to uh, our next episode. Donnie's alive. I guess we just left him in the hospital. Maybe we'll get plans for somebody for him to go on about his business, to get signed out. I don't know how that's going to play out or where he's going to go from there. But it's good to see Donnie. Um, the whole Nick, Nick is still the most interesting character in this entire season by a landslide. I don't care about the Michael stuff. I care about Dean. I just don't care about Michael. It's uninteresting to me. I just don't like anything about the Michael character. I prefer the Lucifer stuff. I prefer Sam and Dean. That that, that core bit, even the bits with Mary and Bobby and everything else going on. Um, yeah, I like this episode a lot. Season 14, episode 12 is entitled Profit and Loss. And that's a wrap for our 299th episode. Which means season 14, episode 13, entitled Lebanon, will be, nose here, our 300th episode of Supernatural. And I'll see you there. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.